The International Space Station and our two spacewalkers uh, just a few moments from now. 15 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, which was a bit uh, behind schedule, getting underway. It took longer than planned uh, to complete uh, leak checks to Drew Feustel's spacesuit, but once that was uh, successfully overcome, uh, every, all of the other uh, pre-spacewalk preparations went by the book. Spacewalk officially beginning at 8.33 a.m. Central Time when Feustel and Arnold placed their suits on internal battery power. They are now outside of the Quest airlock and soon will move in separate directions with Arnold moving over to the location of the Canadarm2 robotic arm to set up an articulating portable foot restraint that he will uh, plant his feet in and ride uh, the robotic arm for the work that he will do outside of the station today. Drew Feustel will make his way over to the tranquility module uh, on the International Space Station for the installation of a pair of wireless antennas to accommodate an environmental plant monitoring experiment to be launched on a future SpaceX Dragon cargo craft, which will be installed on the front porch, the experiment porch, on the outside of the uh, Japanese Kibo module. here with my safety feather. Look good. I think we talked about fair leading on that 500, right? I think so. At the top. Let's keep it up off the spur. Yep. Around. Now, Ricky, that's good, uh, but do not fair lead other, uh, any other place. We like to keep it tight. I understand. Yep. Take it right here. So the handrail just below it on 500, on the other side of the spur, because you're going to come up on the side of the spur. Yeah, uh, right here. Yep, just turn around the other side. There's 500 right in front of you, that little one on the radial around you. Oh, yeah, 3,400. Uh, 500. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. That one, yep, that's the one. All right. Good, good luck. Yep, see you in a little bit. As the International Space Station approaches the uh, southern coast of Chile, Ricky Arnold on the left, Drew Feustel on the right, uh, with the suit with the red stripes on the knees, about uh, to move in different directions to set up shop at uh, their respective work locations. The PMA and Node 1 handrails may be hot, and watch out for uh, no the Node 1 bag, the cables, and the beam while you're translating. And close to the work site, watch out for the CBM pedal covers and the cupola shutters and the grapple fixtures. Okay, that's a lot of things. Thanks for the reminder. Yep, that's a lot of things. At the cedar rail. Copy. One other node one. Copy.
and under the EMT. Copy. Jet scanner node one. Copy. On node three. Copy. See Maker's Taxi Service here. You bet you we're getting ready to, to ring up the meter here. Andrew, when you get to the um, end cone, you're looking for handrail 0647 for the green hook. Copy that. I'm at the end cone. And Ricky, you're looking for handrail 3663 for the bag stow, uh, just part of the FHRC. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm there. Okay. I've got eyes on 0647. Copy. There's an adjustable on uh, 3663. I can take a red down to the cedar rail if you want me to to double red it. It's up to you guys. One is sufficient. It's your call if you'd like another one. I just don't like to step deep around. So. The green hook is down. Okay, Drew, uh, since you got your green hook down, uh, next handrail is 0645, just a little uh, forward from that location. That's where you're going to attempt so your medium or you bag. Okay. the bolts adjacent to the cupola. Copy. So, Drew, once you're at 0645, you can uh, use that large small red that we brought from the airlock. Use that one. And then one other adjustable that's holding the EWC antenna plate if you need that. Okay. And Ricky. I'm going back to yep, I uh, was just to about to call you. Bar. Yep, so you can go uh, translate inboard and then Nader on the lab strut and then use the gap spanner to go okay, ESP2 forward. Okay, copy. Okay, I've got the large small rent from the bag going on the handrail. Copy. Under the MT. Copy.
Over the lab. Copy lab. Copy lab. This is Mission Control Houston, 28 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. By Drew Feustel and Ricky Arnold, uh, the International Space Station currently flying over the South Atlantic, moving from southwest to northeast. At an altitude of 254 statute miles, the, the two spacewalkers uh, moving to their respective uh, work sites. Ricky Arnold will be setting up a portable foot restraint uh, that will be installed on the uh, Canadian-built uh, Canadarm2 robotic arm. There's the view from Ricky Arnold's helmet camera as he makes his way toward that work site. He'll be riding the robot arm in uh, the work that he will be doing today, which will include uh, the removal of a pair of flex hoses from a radiator a coolant module, a radiator beam valve module, uh, which uh, provides coolant uh, in one of uh, the six such radiator beam valve modules that exist on the International Space Station. He will also uh, be involved in the uh, replacement of a uh, failed uh, camera assembly out on the Port 1 truss of the International Space Station. While that's going on, Drew Feustel will be installing a pair of wireless antennas on the Tranquility module that will relay payload data from a uh, environmental monitoring payload called EcoStress that will be launched uh, on a future SpaceX Dragon cargo ship. That EcoStress experiment designed to measure the temperature of plants and how uh, much water plants will need as they respond to the stress of the Earth's environment. And power up speed. <laughs> so the APFR is on my BRTs. Jaws closed. Battles out. Battery good count test. Copy. You can translate. Please. You can translate back to the SSRMS setup location. And Ricky, make sure that your safety tether pulls tight against the lab struts. Against the lab struts. Oh, copy. Thanks. Great reminder. Joe, ready for PGT settings? I've got them set. Bravo two. Counterclockwise two. Good settings. Just report the turns, please. Uh, it should be 9011 turns each. 9011 turns each. Copy. Go bolt one. One. View. The view from uh, Drew Feustel's helmet camera as he uh, uses a pistol grip tool. Uh, to remove bolts uh, holding uh, debris shields 
at the end cone of the uh, Tranquility module to which uh, these wireless antennas, a pair of them will be installed, one Nader, one Zenith. It is released. Copy 11. Talk them up to three. Um, panel 0405. Copy. And now the view from Ricky Arnold's helmet camera. He uh, will be installing a portable foot restraint at the end of the Canadarm2 robotic arm for his work through the course of today's spacewalk that got underway at 8.33 a.m. Central, 9.33 a.m. Eastern Time. 11 turns on bolt number three from 0405 that is released. That one had uh, considerable running torque, but it did not exceed the torque limit of the uh, Copy the report, thanks. Here's bolt three, adjacent to the cupola. Copy. Uh, 